On every single team in professional sports, there are the top players for the team and then there are the weaker players. There's always a drop off between the best guy who you want to help have out there all the time and the worst guy who you don't really want to see the court. But what if there was a team where everyone was the exact same overall? Could they win a championship? What's going on guys? So here what we got going is I'm giving myself three simulations with a team where everyone has the same overall. It's under 80. That was my rule. Every single player had to be under 80 overall. Because once guys are 80, they're considered to be a better player on the team. But this team is just amazingly average. Now let me kind of explain what I'm doing here with minutes. And what I'm testing. And why I'm so anxious to see the results. So I'm giving everyone the same amount of minutes. Meaning fatigue will not be an issue. These guys will be fresh constantly. There's no player on the team weaker than the next. They're all going to perform based on how 2k usually goes about the exact same so my goal if this minute system doesn't work that's okay i'll have to figure out something else the goal for the end of this three simulations i just want to win a championship that is my goal i don't know if it's possible it might not be and we might see but i'm going to try my best so if you guys if you want to help if you want to help the cause drop a like down below i love you guys let's get into the first simulation MVP of season one is Russell Westbrook. Then we got Simmons. Let's see if any of our guys. Whoa, oh, there we go. Oh, no, no, I didn't have him. Dang, I thought I did. I... You are so dumb. You are really dumb. I felt like I had him on the team. I didn't, though. Uh, Tyron Lee wins coach there. And this season, if you guys didn't watch the kind of simulation that I showed there, it was disappointing to say the least. I'm going to go look at the stats because I think it's going to be interesting to see if it's all. Look at it. It's completely completely spread out throughout the throughout the whole team there was guys like Allen who weren't scoring a lot of points but were helping out on defense getting like 1.3 steals everyone was contributing but we didn't have that guy we didn't have that one star that was going to do that and if, if I the next simulation goes like this I will place Steph Curry on the team and we'll see how that affects things if they just need one star but it's kind of surprising considering all these guys how versatile they are how good of players they are that they couldn't all pull it together. What I'm going to do now for the next simulation is I'm going to make it just normal minutes for everybody. So their first five are going to get most minutes and then it's going to go down from there. We're going to see if that affects the results.
Okay, so as you guys saw, season two was an even bigger disappointment. 28 and 50, I don't know why. I am dead inside. I don't know why, man. It's just things, things aren't going well for the evenly matched squad. They're not doing their thing out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on random.org and I'm just going to type in, or I don't know, I'm going to find a website where I can type in like six NBA All-Stars and I'm going to plunk one of them on this team and see if they win a championship. Because obviously, this team is not doing it. They're not. Russell scored 17. It doesn't matter if everyone's evenly matched. They still are doing terrible team stats. Where are we sitting in all these categories? Let's scroll down. Oh my gosh. 29th. Let's see. Points. Is there a points thing? I gotta see that. I gotta see that. Where is points per game? I feel like I missed it and you guys are all laughing right now. There it is. Well, this is awkward. 96.4, which is absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Let's go and see which star we're going to bring on. Okay, so this season, a little bit better. Westbrook MVP, if you guys didn't see, I tried to kind of show it there. Uh, Kevin Durant was the guy who I added. I got him when I went to the simulator. Hassan Whiteside, Giannis Antetokounmpo is the most improved. Tyron Lue. Let's go check out Kevin Durant is all NBA first team. So we know we had a big year, but was it enough? Where are we going in now that we have Kevin Durant? We're third. So we went from not play making the playoffs to the number three seed in the playoffs, which is crazy, absolutely crazy. The second worst record to that just because of one guy. And look, because he was doing so good, it made everybody better. He scored 26, 16.5, Hood got 12. I don't know why I have two. Or no, wait, do I? What, what do I have here? Okay, I feel like I have two of the same player. There it is, I have two Rick Foxes. Don't ask me why, don't question. I know you're sitting there like TD Baron, how could you mess that up? You'd be surprised at the things that I could find a way to mess up. Okay, so let's go and see if they can pull it off. This is not technically what we started off doing. This is just kind of like for me to see how much one star player can affect things. Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. They're going to win it. They're going to win it. The Lakers. Oh, God. No, God, please, no. At the last second, I was up. I had three win. Oh my gosh, that's heartbreaking. Jimmy Butler must have gotten traded to the Lakers or something. I don't know what's up. That was a lot of fun to do, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.